Have you ever wanted pizza while you're on a diet, but you didn't want to blow your calorie budget? Well, here's how I make this three ingredient, high protein pizza dough that's low in calories and actually pretty good. Welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Mateo and I'm going to show you how to make pizza dough low calorie by essentially mixing Greek yogurt and flour in equal parts. Start by measuring out your flour onto a food scale in a bowl. And then we're going to add to it some baking powder, which helps the dough rise and it gives it a little bit of a better crust. Add some salt to the dough, which makes it taste better. One and a half teaspoons of that. And then I weigh out some Greek yogurt and add that to the bowl too. This helps the dough become chewier. It adds protein to the recipe and it's essentially the only moisture that this dough has. We mix it until it forms a wet and sticky dough. Don't worry if it seems a little more wet than normal pizza dough. Just flour your board vigorously when you make this. Um, what I like to do is just toss the dough onto the board and just toss it around until it's evenly coated in flour. And then I use my fingers to pat it down until it starts to get to about where a thin crust pizza would be. And seriously, be very liberal with the flour here. Don't worry if your dough is wet, just add a little more flour to the bar, uh, the bench, and you'll be able to work with the dough, no problem. After you get it to about a thin crust pizza, uh, you're gonna use a rolling pin to take it to the next level. You can get this thing super thin, which is awesome when you're on a diet because Pizza surface area means more pizza and tomato sauce doesn't really add a lot of calories. So I get it super thin. Don't worry if you get a little hole in it, you could just use your finger to repair that. And then I throw some pre-made store-bought pizza sauce on there and I get it right up close to the edges all the way around. And then I use my finger to fold the edge over and give myself a sort of crust, which gives me something to hang on to and makes it more like a real pizza, which is amazing. And then I hit it with some low fat pizza mozzarella. If you've never had this stuff, it is very good. It's it's very tough to you know discern that this is not full fat mozzarella. It's chewy, it browns up nice, it has that pizza flavor. Make sure to clean your kitchen, especially if you're making a YouTube video that people are gonna wanna watch. It's, it's nice when the counter is tidier. Slip your pizza off the baking tray and off the silicone mat. If you don't have a silicone mat, I encourage you to get one. They're less sticky than parchment paper. They're reusable, which means they're good for the environment and it saves you money. Throw some basil on there and chop it into a couple of slices. Make sure not to tip the board too steeply, otherwise your pizza will fall directly off. Bite into it and enjoy that chewy, saucy, cheesy bite without all the calories of your Domino's or Little Caesar's order. And if you like this pizza recipe, you should check out my pasta recipe too. I think you'll like that one.